Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Um, today, we're going to be swapping out um, Siemens Profibus connectors. These are your uh, standard stab in connectors. They have a um, a, A1, B1, A2, and a B2. These are just pop-ins. They just pretty much pop in there. You, you stab your wire in there, prep it. Something like this. I've been doing a couple today. So this pretty much just goes inserted in there. And once you have it ready, you pop them in. You lock them in. You close them. Line it up. And you put your profit bus connector in. Well, here at this plant, we've been having issues, and here's the part number in case y'all need it. Um, we've been having issues with the um, stabbing um, connectors, and we're going into something a little different, which are just uh, piggyback set screw connectors. And these are a little bit more efficient because they have a, a more of a electrical connection instead of just a stabbing. So I'm gonna open one show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I've done a couple today. I've done it through a long day, so I decided to do a video on it. See if it helps anybody out on, on, on YouTube. And pretty much, it's kind of a little hard to do it with the camera and trying to record, but we'll get there. Just opening it up. So we'll open it up, inspect it, and show you exactly what I'm talking about. loosen up the screws you uh, open it up and you can see right there that it has a set screw same numbers a1 b1 a2 and b2 so this little process takes a little bit of time if you want to do it right but what's so neat about these type of new connectors is you can actually hook up with your frozen Pro tech if you have a frozen tech that detects a uh, profi bus you can plug in here and actually isolate from here back and see where your issue is where it's blipping so um i'm gonna pause for a second while well i don't have to pause i've already made sure that this this uh this is a semen starter and i've already made sure it's a to drive siemens drive it's an older model the siemens uh 440 so with my keys i'm gonna go ahead and open this up Typically these take this, this type of key right here. So we'll open it up. And show you exactly what I'm doing today. There it is. So we've already made sure that this is dead and it's not energized. And I have to get into all this right here so I can get it. This purple cable, it's our profi bus. Cable and I have to get in here and get to this in here. I'm gonna show you exactly how to prep it. You give me a few minutes, let me go ahead and open it up and we'll go on from here. Stand by. So guys, I've taken apart the, the drive and I have it wide open right there. Be real care, careful with this ribbon cable if you ever mess with one of these. But here's a broken bus connector. It's our old one. It has this, those two set screws right there. And you gotta pay close attention to your uh, on and off. This is my last cable. So usually when you have two cables and they they keep going, they'll come in and come out. That's your A1, B1, and your A2 and B2 going back out. The arrow right there shows. So on this one, this is the end and it has a resistor. This is where the resistor closes, so it's in the on position. You gotta be real careful when you put the new one in. They usually come prefab as off. I'm gonna set this one as on because it's the end of, end of the run. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off to so you can see what this looks like. I loosened it up already. So it's a typical connector right here. So we have that right there. We'll set it down for now. And I'll show you the inside of these, see, see what that looks like. Give me a second, let me open it. Say guys, it's a little hard to get it open with the phone, so we'll get, it, we'll get there. So I 
opened it up and that's our end of the run connector and these are the stab ends like I was telling you so I'll pop it out we'll pop it out right there and that's our connector right there that's what we're going to be changing out today I'll show you how to prep it with this tool right here comes in very handy here's the part number in case you need it pretty much self-explanatory but I'll run you through the whole steps in a few seconds I'm back guys I'm back and the first thing we have to do is the cable where this comes from you follow it back where it goes to and once you trace it back the connector before this one it's going to be in the off position you want to make sure you turn it on and isolate this cable because this cable does have voltage in it and you will take down everything that comes before this so we want to make sure we go into the on position on the previous one where this cable the other side of this cable is landed at so it'll be the, the bucket before this one so you got to go there and you're going to find it's on the off position you want to switch that to on switch it on this isolates this 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 cable out of that, that circuit and you're going to have this isolated with no voltage nothing on it so you come here i've already done that by the way so we come here we'll cut it about yay I gotta put this phone down because it doesn't let me work. Hopefully I get a good view right there. Yeah, you more or less can see right there. I'll try to give you the best view possible. So we'll cut this cable. begin to prep it. I'm gonna give myself a little slack. I'll tuck all that once I'm done with it. We'll grab this tool and give it about a quarter inch showing like that. I'm gonna bring the phone up so I can see it. You wanna set it about right there. That gives you the perfect connector prepped already for this type. So I'm gonna put the phone back. I did earlier were 100 times easier. Should have recorded that instead of this one, but yeah, here we are. Just trying to help out a little bit. So the 
I guess this is one of the hard ones. So it's prep right there. It's a little bit too long. I'm gonna cut it back a little bit. Right there, prep. And we strip it. When we strip it, we wanna strip just a little bit. Just enough, it's a small termination. It looks something like this. make sure this is in the on position we already switched it this is the old one by the way sorry this is the new one you see the a1 b1 we don't want to mess with a, a a2 or b2 so this one is in the off we'll switch it to on so we don't forget and we'll start right here this is going to be a little process twist it a little bit to get it to go in So, got it in there now. Screw it in. Oh man, I have to edit that out. All day I've been doing two cables. Just talked about it, A1B1. Sorry about that, guys. So, should bring my GoPro to work. Might get better video quality out of it. I'm gonna tighten up the other two you're not using. Like so. Pump it in there, lock it in place, we'll grab the other screwdriver, bigger one, we want to squeeze it together, Let's see what type of connector we have. tight, not snug or anything, just tight. Not too tight where you know it's gonna break, but enough where it's closing. This one needs a little bit more, so we'll give it a little bit more. This side is all loose still. That's good. And then, we'll prep, put everything back together. But that's, your, that's my connector in there. I'm gonna put all this back together and hopefully it works. Thank you guys for watching my video and if you like, subscribe, you know. Hit that link at the bottom. Thank you.